Tonight, Russia and Ukraine stand on the brink of battle. The U.S. saying Russian troops and tanks could roll at any moment. That prediction coming hours after Vladimir Putin ordered his army into two breakaway regions of Ukraine and declared their independence. We have live team coverage on the crisis and its impact. First to KTLA's Pedro Rivera, tracking developments from our news center. Pedro. The world leaders are interpreting the latest action by Russian President Vladimir Putin as a clear sign that he's prepared to invade the Ukraine. Putin not only declared two separatist regions in the Ukraine as independent, but he also doubled down by ordering Russian troops to those areas. Tonight, the United Nations held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do next. On state television Monday, Russian President Vladimir Putin made a move many feel is a precursor to an invasion. Saying Russia will in fact recognize two regions currently controlled by Moscow-backed separatists as independent. Spokesperson for the United Nations General Assembly, Stefan Dujaric, read a statement on Monday condemning Russia's latest move. The Secretary General considers the decision of the Russian Federation to be a violation of the territorial integrity and sovereignty of Ukraine and inconsistent with the principles of the Charter of the United Nations. This map shows the areas Russian troops are entering to conduct what Putin calls a peacekeeping mission. The light blue areas highlight two sections in the Donbass region. Yes. According to Ukrainian officials, these separatists have continued to try and provoke an attack from Ukraine by breaking a ceasefire agreement more than 80 times in just the last 24 hours. Back in Washington, President Joe Biden met with his national security team, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken, Vice President Kamala Harris, and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin among the group. Right now, Secretary Blinken is scheduled to meet with Russian officials on Thursday. To his nation, Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky responding to the declaration from Russia, saying, quote, with today's and possibly tomorrow's decisions, Russia is legalizing its troops, which have been de facto present in occupied areas of Donbass since 2014. A country that has supported war for eight years cannot maintain peace. Zelensky ended his speech with a message seeking to calm his residents as Russia draws near. We have been ready for everything for a long time. There is no reason for sleepless nights. The U.S. is expected to impose swift and strict sanctions against Russia tonight in an address to the U.N. The United Kingdom also announced that they will also issue sanctions. During his speech this morning, Putin, Putin told his citizens that he is expecting, he was expecting the retaliatory moves. Live in the News Center, Pedro Rivera, KTLA 5 News.